So in today's video I want to show you a plugin that made color grading way easier and faster for me. The cool thing about this plugin is that you can just add it to your footage, make a few adjustments and then you have the film look. And there's also a discount code in the description for this plugin so you might want to check it out. So now we are in DaVinci Resolve and now we can switch to the color tab and then I just go to effects and search for the answer. Then I just put the plugin on this note here and then I can make a few adjustments and we have a lot of options. You can customize it as much as you want but it's also extremely simple for me to use this because I don't have to make the color grade all by myself. I can just use this plugin. And what I like to use is Kodak Vision 3 50D. One of my favorite features of this plugin is film compression because it compresses the highlights. As you can see, they were pretty bright and almost blown out. And when I activate this feature, it puts them down and it looks pretty awesome in my opinion. So now I want to skip a few things and we go to print here. And I want to choose Kodak 2383, but you also have the option to choose a few different profiles, like the Fujifilm one. I found out that the Fujifilm one looks pretty good with cars, so if you like to make car videos, you might want to use the Fujifilm one. But in this case, I want to use the Kodak 2383 print film. And then we can also increase the color density, which is a pretty cool feature. Also, when you really want to have the film look, you can also activate halation and bloom and also vignette and some other features like film brief or gate weave. So you also got the options to activate them, but in this case, I don't want to use them. Of course, if you want to make some white balance adjustments, for example, you can go all the way to the top and then you can change the temperature here. But in this case, the temperature is fine, so I leave it at zero. Now, if we want to copy this grade, we can also click on this clip here and then press Command C and Command V on this clip. And now we copied and pasted it. But if you want to make the same adjustments on every clip, you can also reset all the clips, close the effects window and click on this one here and then go to timeline. Now you can make a new note, type in Dehancer again, add it here and make your adjustments. So in my case, Kodak Vision 350D and for print, I want to have Kodak 2383 and I want to have the film compression turned on. And now the plugin affects all of your timeline. So instead of affecting just one clip, you're affecting all the clips in the timeline. So that's pretty cool. And also, if you don't want to have the film grain, for example, if you just want to have the color in the contrast, you can deactivate the film grain and the halation, for example. So now we only got the colors in the contrast curve of the film look. So that's pretty cool. And also, if you want to make adjustments to that, you can make a serial node before that. And then, for example, what I did is Go to the hue versus hue curves and make a few points here. And now we can adjust them and pull down the yellow, for example. So you got more greens here, then pull up the blue. And now you got more teal in the skies or in the blues. And the greens look more green than before. And now if you want to make white balance adjustments on your clips, you can go here again and click on clip again. And then you got the clip adjustments. So you can make white balance adjustments on this clip, for example. Then go to this clip and make white balance adjustments here. So that's also pretty cool. And this is what I actually do a lot of the times. So since I shoot a lot of iPhone footage, I think it's pretty cool that I can use this plugin with iPhone footage too, because it looks pretty good. This is iPhone footage, by the way. So that looks pretty good in my opinion. So this plugin actually works with every type of footage, in my opinion. You can also choose a camera here and then, for example, red and then you can choose the camera here and then with IPP2, uh, for example, you can choose some color profiles here, but I would leave it at Rec. 709. Or if you want to work in DaVinci White Gamut, you can also choose it here and work in DaVinci White Gamut. But in this case, I work in Rec. 709, so I leave it like that. I think it's never been so easy to get the film look done. So that's before and that's after. And then you can see it makes a huge difference. And with this plugin, you can make a lot of adjustments. I used it for a while now, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed by this plugin, even though it's pretty expensive, but I think it's worth it for some people. Not for everyone, but for some of you guys, it can be worth it. For example, for me, it was worth it because it's so easy to use, in my opinion. So now you know why it changed the way I color grade. And if you want to know how to color grade iPhone footage all by yourself without this plugin, you can check out the video on the screen right now. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.